chapter 5. Today we are going to talk about modals in the past tense. I wrote out all the modals we have learned so far in the present tense. Remember, they were müssen, to have to, können, to be able to, dürfen, to be allowed to, mögen, to like, sollen, to be supposed to, and wollen, to want. Now let's see what happens when we change them to the past tense. In the present tense, you notice that all these modals had umlaut, right? Over the U, müssen, over the O, over the U again, over the O. The only ones that didn't were sollen und wollen. Now what happens when we change it to the past tense? All right, let's see. Let's look at the basic form of müssen in the past tense. What do you notice? You notice that the umlaut disappeared, that we added a T to the stem, right? This is the stem, muss, so drop the umlaut, add a T to the stem, and then add the personal index. The same thing with können. We drop the umlaut, here's our stem, we add a T, and the personal ending, and it says konnte. Dürfen, you probably guess by now, it's the same thing. Drop the umlaut, this is the stem, add a T, and then the personal endings. I always use the he, she, it form when I give examples because this is done in, gramma in grammar books. That's just the standard way of giving a form of a verb. So the he, she, it form. Look at mo mögen, the past tense. Remember we had a little change that where the, uh, the G is changed to the CH, no umlaut over the O, the T ending, and the E person in. All right, so all the umlauts of these four modals drop off. We drop off the end of the stem, replace it with a T, and then add the personal endings. And down here I'll give you a conjugation. Sollen, that's the easy one because we had no change. We just add the T, personal ending. So it becomes sollte. Wollen, stem, add a T, and a personal ending. All right, so how do we pronounce it? Musste, konnte, dürfte, mochte, sollte, wollte. So, he, she, it, he had to, he could, he was, al so he was allowed to, he liked, he should, and he wanted to. These are the translations of the past tense mode. Now let's see how the conjugation looks. All right, so let's, I'm going to take müssen, yeah? Ich muss ti i. All right, no umlaut, remember, du muss, again, t to the stem, est. You remember after t we have to in, insert an e. So the du ending is like we learned already. S e s muss te, again e. Wir mussten, this is regular again, except for the T after the stem. Wir mussten, und sie mussten. And this is the conjugation. As you know, there's no umlauts, T all the way through, added to the stem, and then the personal endings. And you notice for I and he, she, it, the personal ending is E. The rest of the endings are like you learned already. Now, let's do the English translation. Ich musste, I had to. You had to, du musstest. Er musste, he had to. Wir mussten, we had to. Ihr musste, you all had to. Und sie mussten, they had to. So this would be a translation of müssen. So, what did we learn? What do, you, do we need to remember? The first thing is we add a T to the stem. And then we drop the umlaut. And the third one, ich, S-E-S, and in E. So, 
This is a short summary of the most important things when we put modals in the past tense. Now down here, I wrote two sentences which are in the present tense. Now I want you to change them to the past, okay? So how do we do that? So will, ich will und ich muss. Now we change them to the past tense. What do we need to know? We need to know what the infinitive of will is, right? The infinitive of will, as we learned, is wollen. We always have to go back to the infinitive. So, that gives us a base to work with. So, we learned wollen is the infinitive. What do we do? Ich, use the, uh, we drop the en, ending. We add a t to the stem, right? And we learned that ich has an e ending. Ich wollte ins Kino gehen. There we go. Next one, er muss viel studieren. Again, let's go to the infinitive of muss, which is müssen. All right, now we have the infinitive to work with. Er, we learned, drop the umlaut, right? Drop the en. So we have muss. To the stem, we add a t and an E for he, she, it, up here, you see that? And then the rest of the sentence, er musste viel studieren. And that's all there is to the modus in the past tense. It's not complicated, as long as you remember, drop the umlaut, add the T to the stem, and the personal endings.